Hi guys, welcome to a start to a new week. Today is Monday and it's gonna be the warmest day for the foreseeable future. So I'm going to be spending some time outside and in my backyard and I'm just very excited to just be in the sunshine. So I'm wearing a bathing suit today. This is an older one that I've had for a couple years that is just a one piece and it really shows a lot of chest and back. So I'm excited to be able to really use it for sun tanning. This was a collab between the Saltwater Collective and my friend Alana Davison a few years back. With that, it acts like a cami with this outfit. Like this is an outfit that is poolside appropriate, but I also could wear it into a store and I do have to run an errand later, so it'll be perfect. On top is this Free People wrap top. It has a couple of buttons here that you can use if you just want it closed for regular as a shirt. And then you can just tie it and it looks like the tie is holding it together. But today, since I've got the bathing suit on underneath, I can just kind of let it go with this one little knot. And I think that having these white linen pants underneath is just the perfect combination because it still feels very warm weather appropriate. It's more of this vacation style, which I've been really enjoying this season. And I've been finding a lot of similar white wide leg uh, linen pants online in many brands and I'm just very excited that it's starting to be a little bit more mainstream. I got these back in the day with Elizabeth Suzanne, so I will link you guys with some examples that I have from other places where you can find something similar. As for the shoes, these ones are the platform sandals that are from Nisolo. I have them in a few different colors and so these ones just match perfectly with this outfit. They keep my feet up high by about an inch, which is great if you are by a poolside because it'll keep you out of some of the water that kind of accumulates in the puddles around it. Uh, other than that, for my hat, I have this little sun hat that is from Janessa Leone. I'm still on the fence if it's Leone, so let me know if you happen to know that in the comments. The tilde or the accent mark that's at the E really trips me up sometimes. It makes me think that it's Leone, but I've heard other people say Leone, so I'm confused. Um, other than that, I've just got a couple of my normal necklaces on, some repeats that were from last week, ones that I've treasured for quite a while, and then some rings. So of course, I'll be taking these off when I go outside, but when I am inside or running errands, then I do like to accessorize with every outfit. Today is Tuesday and it's around 65 degrees out today. It's gonna get up to mid 70s. So I want something that will keep me warm if there's like, you know, any sort of breeze that's going by. But ultimately I want to be comfortable in my house. What I am wearing today is a three piece outfit. This third piece that I'm wearing on top is from Meal. It's a company that I've been shopping from recently, but this one is gifted and I've really enjoyed just, just talking with the founder about you know, the different pieces and I also made sure on the pronunciation because it's spelled like M-I-L-L-E, but it's pronounced more in this French way. So sorry if I butchered it still, but. <laughs> so the cardigan itself is really a dress it's the jasmine dress and it's inspired by the jasmine that's grown around little corners of LA estates, which I find to be so romantic. It would be a wonderful dress to wear on trips to the beach. I love the idea of doing that and I plan to bring this with me this September when I go to the beach. The fabric is this double gauze cotton. So it's thick, but it's incredibly breathable. And I think it's a really good warm weather option if you have to have something that will keep you warm because otherwise you're looking toward knitwear for this same sort of feeling. And that would be too warm, not quite right. The sleeves that I have here are rolled up and I love the long length of this because it still leaves a couple of inches for the pants underneath. These pants are from Elizabeth Suzanne from a while back. Uh, they are silk and they're in this beautiful brown color, but it's, it still has some green undertones to it, which I find beautiful. 
I try to show you guys things that are still available when I can, but with pants, I just look for proper fit and structure and something that will live in my closet for years and years. So that's where I start building my outfit. If I get the pants wrong, then I can't really build the rest of the outfit correctly. So that's kind of where I am with pants. I will link something similar though, whenever I can. And then for the piece underneath, the, this top is a just a Cezanne tank. And I've been enjoying exploring different companies and brands for tanks just to see the difference. And I, I really have enjoyed Cezanne's versions because they are soft. They are not see-through, which I think is really good for this. And I also just really like the cut. It's a really nice one. So it works wonderfully to layer with like today. For accessories, I'm going with my gold jewelry per usual. And then for each little um, ring, I wanted something that was chunky and thick as opposed to some of my more delicate and thin rings. Uh, and then same for my uh, necklaces here. I wanted something that was more substantial. And for accessories with this outfit, I've got black leather mules and a matching black leather bag that also have more of a chunky element to them, not necessarily something that's delicate. And then for my hat, it incorporates more of that brown tone that is with the pants. So that color is not standing out on its own. It's got a, a friend. <laughs> so that was my full outfit. This hat is from Gigi Pip from um, a while back, but I will link it because they still have that one available. Today is Thursday. It's sunny and a little bit chilly out. Didn't have much to share yesterday. You didn't miss much. I just had to go to one of our chiropractor appointments. Then I ran some errands, had some coffee, and spent an exorbitant amount of time on a family tree website. And I learned a lot of really cool things that I just got absorbed into. And then after that, um, had some pizza and chocolate cake and wine, and that was pretty much my day. <laughs> but today, I actually have a lot to get done now. Um, I wanted something that would make me feel a little bit more professional so that I can just lean into the things that I have to do. So the stunner of this outfit is this Rachel Pally blazer. It is deconstructed. I have a linen, like lighter version, of this, it's more of this natural linen color, but this one in black is beautiful. I like that it hits me lower than most blazers do because I am pear-shaped and I don't like anything to cut me at my widest point. And this is just an inch or two below that. So that's why this is the perfect version for me. Also, I like that there's no like strong boxy elements to it, it is drapey. There's no shoulder pads. It's not an excessive amount of fabric. So this is perfect for warmer weather. It's breathable and you can layer it with some more casual pieces too. So for a casual piece, I've just got a little white tank top on. And then for my pants, I've got these uh, La Casa trousers. I've had them for a few years now and they are a wonderful option because I love having um, both black and natural colored uh, pants for that style. They mix and match very well. I can wear them with a t-shirt. I can wear them with a button down. They're just very versatile. And I am accentuating the high waistline here with this thicker belt. Uh, this is a Janessa Leon belt. And I do like that it's a thicker option compared to the J. Crew one that I've had in years past. I also love finding a belt that matches the style of jewelry that I usually prefer. I'm actually not wearing rings at the moment, which is honestly unintentional. <laughs> I love to be able to layer on my rings, as you guys know. Um, but with that, I am wearing just a couple of little necklaces here. I've got my little vase necklace, and this one is the winged victory necklace, which is the smallest uh, coin necklace that I have. So minimal accessories. I probably will add more rings later. 
And then a little bracelet too. This one is from Jenny Bird, if my memory serves me correctly. And for my bag choice, I'm going with my Van Holshausen bag. I wanted something that was more of a statement piece. In the past, you've heard me say to use a smaller bag. I still like to use that rule. And I've talked about bag size a little bit here and there, but because I've got to focus in on the, what I need to get done today and the work that I need to get done, I am gonna have my little bag with me throughout the day. And then for these shoes, these ones are the most business chic shoes that I own. They've got this beautiful stiletto heel. Um, they are just an ankle boot, so I've been wearing them through the fall and I plan to find different ways to wear them uh, in spring and summer. So these ones do elevate me up quite a bit too, which is nice for these trousers because these trousers could be hemmed up a little bit and I could wear them with flats more easily, but these ones actually make me uh, have more space from the ground with these trousers, if that makes sense. And uh, for my hat, this one is lack of color. And I thought that it was a nice combination with this outfit because it's just a little bit darker than the pants. So the pants color does not live alone. And so that's really nice that it has something that's more incorporating that element of the outfit. One more thing about this belt is that I added a couple extra holes to it so that I could cinch it at a more my natural waistline, which is up higher than having it sit where a belt normally would. So I have on hand a little tool that I can punch those in with and it still looks very much like the store did it themselves. So that's what I use there. Um, and I guess that's Thursday. Today is Friday and it's a lovely day outside. It's nice and sunny, uh, but it is chilly. So when I woke up this morning, it was still in the 40s. So today I want to be able to wear one of my warmer pieces for this time of year. This is an old jumpsuit that I've had. Uh, I've had it since 2018. It's from Svilu and I've always loved the timeless cut of it. It's very flattering in a lot of ways because as a pear shape, it is creating this long line from my shoulders down to nearly my ankles. And then it cinches right at my uh, smallest point here with a matching belt. And then it has that V-neck. So there's lots of wonderful things about this and it has pockets. So it works for really casual laid back days like today. And when thinking about the jewelry that I wanted to wear with this, I wanted something that would flatter the cut of the garment. It would be an accentuation of the garment itself and not take away necessarily. So I am going with this Jenny Bird necklace. And the beautiful thing about this necklace is that it has one little, I wanna say pendant right in the middle there. And then it carries down and cascades with one little string of the gold chain that goes all the way down. So I think that that works really well for a v-neck. Then for the rings that I chose, I wanted to have more minimal pieces. So I have uh, four different little tiny gold bands. And then I wanted, aside from just my uh, wedding bands, I wanted to have my little snake ring and that creates more of this statement piece out of all of my rings. And then for my shoes and my hat, I wanted something that would be closer to my skin tone today. So I'm going with these platform sandals by Nisolo and my Jenny Kane canvas hat. So I think that today will be perfect for this outfit because it's sunny and it's chilly and it's, you know, it's springtime here in the South. So it's comfortable and casual for a Friday. I think I really just want to um, check some things off my to-do list as far as some videos coming up. And I have some things still to figure out as far as 
the setting I want to tape things in and all that. So I will keep you guys posted as far as that's concerned. Um, I do have a lot of content to get to though, and I'm really excited about it. But that's it for my week of outfits for this week. Also, I do try to post these over on Instagram, so you can check me out there as well. Don't forget to like this video if you like this sort of content and, you know, it's kind of like a chatty little chance for me to just spend some time with you guys and share my week with you. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!